Hello everyone, this is Gorax. In today's video, we will go over some Master Phase 2 teams that can do easily over 8 million damage, giving you all the free rewards daily till the end of the event. Let's go! So phase two of Dungeons Dragon event has us fighting some master instead of dragon. He changes his skills. Uh, he still takes additional damage when we have Elminster in our team. Uh, he still takes additional damage for every debuff on him. So those things do not change. So you want to bring either Elminster or someone else to do debuffs as well. At least one debuff will give you at least 10%. Um, now his damage comes from this skill here that he does a, a little bit of necrotic damage and summons four skeletons, which is not a problem really. Then he deals necrotic damage to the fattest enemy, inflicting stand on them for five seconds. So when someone is stunned, it prevents them from launching basic attacks or casting skills, as well as stops the regeneration of their ultimate points. So you want a hero that will be not crucial, but you know, it, some heroes that are crucial still can take it and it works. Sadly, you can't really build resistance. You can't really uh, put something else because the equipment doesn't work here. And the most damage comes from his Draculish Frenzy. So he deals necrotic damage to all enemies. On top of that, he detonates all the skeletons that are remaining on the battlefield. And the explosion deals surrounding damage. And he's obviously immune to all control effects and he gets Frenzy every time he does the rotation. Um, so this is him basically, and I prepared a few teams this time around that will do over 8 million damage for different affinities. Um, so that's not the team. Uh, so the first team that we did will be uh, Furbuff and Hexandra. Basically, this is a rare team that uses only um, one epic hero and against some master you want to bring a good sustain because there's a lot of aoe damage coming your way and this is why we have fur buff who constantly heals the team hexandra for these huge heals as well as she will be taking this um stun ally to deal aoe damage um dench to apply poison and i used Notira, someone that people don't really use, but there are other options instead of her. I use like probably one of the weakest to deal damage here. Uh, Loray will work well. Um, you can try even Letalis and all these epics. You can use all the epics. I'm just showing you a base. Okay, and this is the base team. Uh, different approach here. Uh, we change damage. Uh, we went for uh, Hervon. He has a electrocuted. He has a chance of applying electrocuted, uh, and he does a lot of damage as well. So as you can see, I only replaced one hero to show you that you know even without Notira, you can use something like this. And on top of that, there are other viable options here, like you can use Ayola. Uh, obviously, support heroes deal do deal less damage than the main damage affinity ones. Um, so, uh, we have like Thunderbolt, um, but you know, the, the other Thunderbolt heroes are not that great. So we didn't use them, but we also tried a Dauntless team. So if you're a fan of Dauntless and you've run Dauntless in season one, etc., this is a team that also does more than 8 million damage. Um, so we are using shelter here. I didn't even scroll him, so I wanted to show you guys that, you know, even without scrolls, these teams can still achieve that. Uh, Nimbus, he's scrolled. Um, now we have Vani, so all of them do a lot of damage together. And again, the core here, Furubab and uh, Hexandra. So you have, if you have those two, it's all good, okay? Now, uh, let's move on to the next team. Okay, so the next team is the burn team. And as you can see, again, the same thing. We follow the same thing. We have sustain, two different ways of sustain. We have Gladros with shield. Um, we have Megan with some healing over time. And we utilize the burn trio that is easy to build and does the job, okay? Uh, if you don't have Arrakis, you can replace him really. Uh, Biggs dies early, you probably want to move him a little bit, right? Um, 
but yeah this team works again and the next team um uh, wild team basically back to season one those who played wild they can still do well here and as you can see i'm using uh adolphus with isolt isolt is here to apply uh, the shield and the debuff obviously well obviously it's not easy you could probably place it like that to avoid it but then someone else will be taking hits and we put dane to take the hits here uh because he's not that important really uh, the most important is Adolphus. We don't want him to get, take hits. We want him to constantly shield and heal. Because uh, when Isolt has a shield on, when she casts her uh, ultimate to grant shield and Adolphus follows, he will heal. All these fights are done on auto. Okay, there's no manual casting. That's the idea here. And if you can't build any of those affinities, you can always go to uh, Frost and. Um, there's no equipment by the way frost and um radiance and this team does the job i'm using a common hero meredith as i said two sources of uh healing are important and you can upgrade it right if you want to get higher re higher scores put in catherine instead instead of meredith um you can bring in better damage dealers if you have any of the legendaries uh, but this team does the job and then we go for full um, radiance team utilizing the rally heroes and as you can see we're running two hegu and tafflin if you don't have tafflin uh, you can even use someone like oops that's not it uh, you can use um, martina you can use even uh, where is he Alves to boost the rally heroes that are already in the team. Uh, basically, you want someone to apply rally to Hegu and Welby, and they'll do the job just fine. And now, if you started early on, you just started your journey and you don't have any affinities, there's the team, and the team uses Elminster. So this is the only requirement. There are probably other teams, and I'll leave that to other content creators to do, you do them, but this is a team that did the job without using any affinity. There are, there's quite a lot of teams that use the free affinity that can do it, but I wanted to show a team with zero affinity that can do it. Uh, if you replace Elminster with Adolphus, uh, you will be very close to that damage. Uh, I was like at 7.7 .7 million, so I was barely there. So with enough uh, patience, you will definitely get over that line. And this is it. This is um, some master phase two, basically the end of the Dungeons and Dragons call up. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.